Hi friends, this is soft freezing. In today's lesson, we will be looking at a circular slab and then how to reinforce it. Okay, so let's start. If I do control P, okay, you will have this, okay, and then I go back to the 3D and I click and click on withdraw. You will have this, okay. Actually, this was what we did in the last lesson, okay? And so, today we will be adding the uh, the top slab reinforcement of this tank, okay? And so, uh, what we will be doing in this lesson is to create a circular slab and then reinforce it so as to cover this tank, okay? So I will click and then I will align this one, okay, just like this, and also align this one, okay. If I align this two, I will right click and then click on add. So I've I this two object is hidden, okay. So I want to click on this one because this is what we'll be working out and okay we'll be working on this so I right click and then I delete it just like this okay so I can do redraw okay right click you click on this blank area right click and then click on redraw all right to so bring back all the elements all the models okay so now what I will do is I want to align this particular one just like this right click and then hide this one okay after which oh the grid line is also hidden okay so I will click on the white area right click and then redraw so everything will come up I don't I did not intend to hide the grid line okay so because that is what we want to use to model the the circular slab so I will just align this just like this right click and then click on add so it's easy now so I will go control P okay so this one is the plan view the first thing I want to show you here okay uh, you will go to slab okay you pick the slab pick this point so first point this point as a second point third fourth and first point okay to insert the slab just like this okay so if you do call to p you will notice that the slab is at the bottom of this tank okay so what you need to do is you have to highlight it just like this is highlighted right click and then you have to move it linear okay upward at you clear this at a height of 2500 just like this click on move to move it to this point okay and then you click on okay you do control p to go to the plan view deselect the commands okay just like this and select this again Alright, so is this already selected? So at this point, sorry, it's being deselected. So you click on it to highlight it. Alright, so at this point, okay, this edge, you double click here. Alright, so once you double click, you click on this shape drop down and select arc points. Act point and click on modify. So we have having a semicircle and a sector okay so you come to this other edge double click here to again you will be having this drop down click on it and select arc point like this and click on to modify so you are having a circular cover okay on top of the tank you do control p to actually see what you have done so far okay so you notice you didn't see the tank because it was it is 
on a wireframe so you can do control four all right so this is the cover okay so this uh, circular slab cover we are going to reinforce it okay so for us to do that we we need to hide this particular uh, tank we highlight it sorry not like this uh, you deselect it and then you highlight it like this okay right click and then click on hide just like this so you'll be having this okay so you just have to rotate it like this okay so we want to be using the rebar set in the rebar set drop down click on create crossing bars just like this pick one point select this and then click on the top of the mouse okay let's do control to to see what we have done okay so that is it in the top that is the top bar click on it again select the uh, select the bottom bar click on the uh, wheel of the mouse go to rebar again and select create longitudinal okay you do the same thing this is longitudinal okay so you create the longitudinal in the top direction and longitudinal in the uh, bottom directions just like this okay so after which what you need to do is to create a sidebar okay so you deselect this command just like this once you deselect the commands you will go to this uh, applications and components okay and this applications and company will be using this border river for single edge okay so you have to hold your shift key click on it okay once you hold your shift key and click on it a dialog will show where you can select the size of the bar okay the size okay is 12 okay and other things you come to pin spacing is 150 this point and this point click on apply it and okay and then you select the model okay once you select the model you have to pick two points okay so i will pick this point and then i'll pick the second point yeah this one and then it will generate this bar automatically as you can see okay so this is the uh border bar generated automatically all right so uh if i click on this point uh, to deselect the commands just like this okay i can now do uh control click on the white area of the board right click and then click on withdraw to bring up all the hidden items okay so you can see all right so this is the hidden items okay so i want to also add the sidebar to this uh this slab okay so what i will do is uh, i will click on this again select the model that i want to add the sidebar so when the model is selected successfully just like this you pick two points okay good and take it to be this point and this other point and so the sidebar will be generated automatically just like this you can see so you decided the command okay to see what you have done so far so just like this you can see the sidebar generated automatically all right so we are be able to model the uh, the circular slab and then reinforce it as well as the as well as the uh, as well as the uh, adding bottom uh, side border uh, reinforcement to the slab okay so this brings us to the end of the lesson today stay tuned for more advanced uh, lesson okay bye for now